Hello everybody, it's me, Mint Apocalypse, coming at you live with another trendy video. 2014-ish, it was FNAF. Then it was Undertale, and now it's Dream Daddy. I'll be honest, I have seen none of the gameplay for this. I've seen some screenshots, I've seen the different characters in it. All I know about it is kind of what it says on the Steam page. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if you can see my cute mug but it's amazing and it's color changing. Okay, we're, we're going in right now. I'm excited, are you excited? Here we go. All right. Oh, we're getting dialogue already? Okay. Sleeping. Do I use a mouse? I guess I use a mouse. Okay, so, yeah, this is the girl that's supposed to be your daughter, I believe. <laughs> Pretend to be dead me in the mornings. Oh god, what's the, what's the most relatable option? Tell me in the comments. Tag yourself. Tag yourself in the comments. Five more minutes. It's a classic. It's a classic line. Okay. <sighs> Should I be doing voices? I did voices for, um, whoa. I did voices for my unreleased Undertale video and it was not very good, so I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. I mean, like, if this was me right now, I'd probably be closest to this. I'll be honest with you, this is 100% the main reason I've downloaded this game, just to play with the character customizer. I'll be here for three hours. Check back then. The subtle differences. That's like the Superman. Let's see. I think I'm torn between this one and that one, because that one looks a lot like my hair right now. I'm so torn, because like, I like the, pur the idea of the purple. I know that's not on brand. On brand, I'd be going for like a green, but they don't really have a great mint green. And light purple is amazing as well for like hair colors, so. Oh my gosh, amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Thinking about it. Mm, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a classic. I've seen a lot of YouTubers go with the egg shirt. That one's so cool. Oh, I'd actually wear that 100%. Probably wear that too, actually. Oh, I'd 100% wear that. Oh my god, I love that there's cats on that. That's amazing. Oh my god, I have a shirt that looks like almost actually like that. I should have worn it. I didn't know. If this, you know, if I decide to do a second video for this, I'm gonna wear my shirt. I'm gonna match. I'm gonna match my dad's sona, okay? But I want him to be kind of like chill and cool, so I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Name that dad. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Search around the room, it looks like you did- looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in a little photo album. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we began looking through it. This is so cute. I saw- I totally saw a picture of this on Tumblr and it was adorable. I don't know if you can see my mouse in this or not. I'll try to be subtle if you can. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. I mean, she's not lying. I mean, look, the baby's got sunglasses on. It's pretty amazing. Oh, cool. You can choose to be, like, whatever you want. That's kind of awesome. Uh, mm. Huh. I think it's really cool that there's like so many options here. You could be bi, pan, gay, ace, any of those. I really like that. 
LGBT representation is always very good, very nice. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's raining like super hard. I hope you guys can't hear that, but it's, it's doing a rain. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? Oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Oh, that's such a great... That's so great. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> Bro tip. Right, yep. Definitely repressed that memory. Aw, oh, relatable. And this was you in your horse phase. See, I don't- the one thing I don't get is why does every girl seem to have a horse phase? I never had a horse phase. Like, that I can remember? Yeah, sure, like, I wanted to ride one at some point. But that was mostly just because my cousins had some. So, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll ride your horse. It's fine. Hmm. Dad? I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Iconic. Hmm. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this important blackmail is for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Who am I playing? Tomska? Ouch, kid. Huh. The Skommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. Did it? I don't know, me. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Dad. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course, gotta go with. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, because that's wild. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket. Right? <laughs> Dad, that was you. <laughs> Aw, thanks for remembering. Oh, right. I was a wild child. Oh, boy. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station, it just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Now what I really want to know is the backstory on this, like why was that an idea? Was it just like, you know what, I'm gonna do this today, or was it just like, a, yeah, you know. Dad. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and I got us a $20 gift, gift card to Mick Friday's. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostado Blats. Yeah. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive pack past Mick Friday's without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down in the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Aww. Uh -huh. I finally decide to break the silence. Ooh, this is a hard one. I'm gonna say adopted. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eye, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. <sighs> she was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Oh. She pats me on the back. Oh. 
Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Where is it? This is a street. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Huh. huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Oh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Oh. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Oh. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Amazing. Memories to make and stuff to oh. break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it seems a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? Hmm. So, sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best. Cheesy announcer voice. <clears throat> Nestled in a beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Ooh. Ooh, there's so many options. That's right, you heard me. A garage big enough for not one, but two whole cars. As well as room for all of my very important dad tools. And my motorcycle. My sick hog, the old steel pony, dad's little motor velocity, I don't know, Ugh. dad, the two-wheeled transportation station, dad, I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life and to be honest, I am afraid of them. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last home. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yeah. I think it's great. We won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff we can walk to, so we don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Oh, I know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm. And <laughs> not gonna happen. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Mm. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Oh. I'm in my last year of high school and practice practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior? Mm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen? Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh. But I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery hmm. shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll go get some work done and then check the area out. Here we go. Cute house. Whoever did the background art of this, like, MVP. They look amazing. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Ooh, you might want to take that down. Hiya! And with a swift, swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate shopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Me. Uh, let's see. Yeah. We need to unpack first. As much as, as much as I would also like to enjoy a delicious, healthy ice cream sando right now, we got a work to do. We got a uh, work to do. We got work to do. I can speak. And we need to make it snappy, because there are five sealed crates of DVD sets blocking off the bathroom, and I gotta pee real bad. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks, stand in your way. Let's get to it. Gotta appreciate the art real fast. Don't mind me. This looks real nice. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over the door and open it. Hello! A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Yeah, I've heard about this guy. Hell... Oh? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yeah, hi, I'm Connor. Well, that's what my name is. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, but between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Don't put down your children. They work hard. We both share a laugh. <laughs> Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Ooh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come back. Uh, and she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Mm. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Oh. I have four kids. Ooh, that's awful. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, it's, it's fake and it still hurts. What have you done? Boy. Oh, uh, I'm in... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Me. I relate. Oh yeah, okay. Is the missus around? Uh, no, not anymore. She died. <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess I should be giving him a different voice. What does he look like? I know, I know enough about him. Let's see. Maybe like a, oh. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. I don't know. I can't, I can't think of something. No, no, it's okay. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Uh. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at jo Joseph quizzically, but calm. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops for to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a, a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in her hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh, they're gone. Sorry. All right. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. Eh, you know. Guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? I don't know. I'm thinking, let's do fresh air. I'm not really a coffee person. Let's hit that park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Dogs? Alright, I guess. <laughs> okay, will you help me steal a dog? 
for the last time, I can't fit the dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. You just need bigger cargo shorts, right? You're breaking my heart, Pops. Amanda and I begin strolling through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers are in the bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm -hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! <laughs> yeah, that's me. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face! <gasps> This literally has happened to me. Watch this video. Check the card. I don't remember what corner it's in. Watch that video. Woof. I can't do dogs. A corgi with a neat, neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Um, yes. I like your neck tag. Rough. He runs around a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. I mean, it's pretty cute. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. How did you know? Borf. My god, this dog knows more than he lets on. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes a frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally got with your hands, not your face. Yeah, you could have fooled me, honestly. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ha, huh, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Connor, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi! Uh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. Cute. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book better, bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Uh. This is Daisy. She's reading Brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me she has the reading comprehension schools, skills of a high schooler. She's so cute. I love her hair so much. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She's precious, little youngster. Whoa! Whoa. Uh. My dad, my natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening! <laughs> ah, ah, I love this. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Connor. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah! I'm crying. This is amazing. Yes. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh no. I need to brag harder. Last week, I'm practicing. Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Brian loses 20 HP! Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Oof. Guys, we're in the lead. I think we can do it. Let's brag again. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Oh, really? I'm actually taking Daisy's teachers about Talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Oh no! What's this do? Oh, I can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Item. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Band-aid. With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. Amanda, what are you doing, Dad? <laughs> Connor, being a protective parent. Anyone would agree that it's an unusual gesture. You lose 10 HP. Dang it, don't judge me. <laughs> Dang it. 
Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get in the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it to our we're taking it out next weekend. How's that even possible? Amanda could barely even get one of those sticky hand things. Oh, I get it. You lose 20 HP. Oh no, I have 5 HP uh item. Uh uh Ooh, uh child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a, a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Emmanuel genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20 HP! We got this! Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Okay, all right, we, we, got, we gotta bring it back. Uh, spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a row. Oh, that hurts. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful, you lose 20 HP. That is so rude. Dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gra gracious winner? Oh my god, that's hilarious. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. It's just back to regular conversation. That makes sense. I love it. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. Did I say that right? That was weird. Okay. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park, with Maxwell ha happily tro trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Yeah. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ooh. Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda King. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Let's go to the coffee shop. They really want us to go to the coffee shop, and I know we meet a dad here, so let's go. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Huh. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place in the corner. All right. Man, this is just such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? <gasps> Same. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it, because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad, and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you just leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes. Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the wall and patrons lounge around on well-worn worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to the little stage. Hey. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it would be a good idea at the time, and I suppose now. Still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Haha, <laughs> me. 
But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Oh god, this game is so relatable. God, same. So, what will it be? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. Oh, well. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Can I get a boneless coffee? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go for it. Spicy. I don't get it. Okay, yeah. Alright, cool. I'm doing the thing again. But coming right up, and for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Oh, God. Uh, medium. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sits out to making our drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Oh, burn. Hey. Hey. Ska was cool once. Seriously, am I playing as Tom Ska or like what? This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar, su lum lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and don't go outside and do also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. God, relatable. Good one. Hi, we're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Connor. I'm getting into it. This is 40, 40 experience. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get, get your guys' opinions on something. Matt goes into the bag and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first, so can we uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us to do any free creative labor. I think that would be a... Uh, come, oh god, why are they doing big words? Mm. I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, yeah, so that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chat down. This is amazing! Hey. Thanks! The secret ingredient is bananas! So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad brand- dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna go with that one. Like the jam rock band fronted by Jerry Garcia? He did not like it. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah, grateful banana bread. Strong de- strong decisions? That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professional. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh. <laughs> See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Nap time. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now, all aboard the train to Sleepy Time Junction. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Connor, bro! I turn around and agree by a familiar face jogging to us. I didn't know we knew any of the characters. Craig? Bro! Bro! Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. 
Yeah, wow, you look great. Nice. Huh, yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act, are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. This kid is so cute, oh my gosh. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't even remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Nice. Oh, thank you. That's the last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. She s Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with a bad hangover, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Small Smashley doing? I mean Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashley and uh, we got divorced last year. Ooh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Mm. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Cake Stand Craig is a father of three. Cake Stand Craig? Oh, oh ha. Huh. It was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along, you know, resist resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give it up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha, huh, I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab some breakfast afterwards. Catch up, we could do a bro brunch. Like the good old days. Bro brunch, that's funny. All right, sure, sounds great. Great, let's keep going. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts in his, his earbuds in, and jogs off. Can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And when I, then I asked him what the hell he was doing, he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person now. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I, I feel later. I think we're gonna save it here because I filmed for at least an hour and I can't talk very much longer or my voice is gonna give out. But that's the beginning of Dream Daddy. Obviously there's a lot more to this game and that's gonna be cool. I might do another part, might not, we'll see. Uh, regardless, it's been fun, it's a cool game. The art is really good, I really like the art. So I will see you guys later. Bye!